The trains for HS2, Europe's largest infrastructure project, should be built in Scotland, the SNP's Ian Blackford has insisted. The nationalist leader at Westminster urged Boris Johnson to offer the £2.75 billion to Spanish train maker Talgo, which has confirmed that if it won the contract, it would make the old Longanit power station in West Fife its manufacturing hub. It is thought that if Talgo won the contract, it could bring more than 1,000 jobs to Kincardine. While the company has made clear its Longanit factory is not dependent on getting the HS2 contract, it admitted it did require a large order to anchor the factory before construction could begin. The Spanish firm already provides high-speed trains across the world, including in its native Spain as well as Germany, Kazakhstan and the west coast of Canada. The Prime Minister gave the green signal to the Pound 100B plus HS2 project last week. The route, to be completed by 2040, will link London to Birmingham and then Manchester and Leeds. The winner of the HS2 carriages contract, due to be announced later this year, will supply a minimum of 54 trains for operation on Phase 1 of Britain's HS2 high-speed line linking London and Birmingham. If the Prime Minister is serious about bringing investment to Scotland, he should sign the contract which would see HS2 trains built in Scotland, declared Mr Blackford. If accepted, Talgo's bid to the UK government for HS2 would see 1,000 jobs to Long Gannett in the west of Fife. It is in competition with Hitachi Bombardier, Alstom, Siemens, and fellow Spanish firm Cef. The party leader claimed that thus far the UK government's plans for the high-speed rail project have been short-sighted, stressing how Mr Johnson had failed to show a commitment to rail connectivity across the UK. Boris Johnson needs to engage with the Scottish government to improve rail links from Scotland to the major cities in the north of England such as Manchester, Newcastle and beyond, rather than stopping the line at Birmingham. With the UK government seeking a review of the second phase to build the line in the north of England, Scotland must not be left last in line, he declared. His SNP colleague Douglas Chapman, who represents Dunfermline and West Fife, added, the area around the Long Gannett site in the west of Fife has been neglected for a number of decades after the closing of the coal mines and, more recently, the power station being shut down. We need an injection of economic stimulus and the 1,000 jobs Talgo has suggested could be just what's needed. As well as the HS2 contract, Talgo is targeting contracts in developing markets in South America, Africa, and Australia, which it would also export carriages from its Long Gannett factory. Carlos de Palacio Oriol, the Talgo president, explained the company's two key for more on this story, visit the news article link.